The world does not have to be this way at all. It does not have to be heading in the direction that it is heading. People do not have to live in a never-ending sea of self-generating debt. Wars do not have to be fought, and children do not have to starve. And don't think people starve because the world is overpopulated. Don't believe what the television tells you. The world isn't overpopulated at all. In fact, let's look at it realistically with a simple comparison of population versus land mass, and we can do a rough estimate and formulate a quick hypothetical to demonstrate this very easily. There are approximately 6 billion people in the world, and there is 2.97 million square miles of land in the island continent of Australia. 2.97 million square miles breaks down to 1,900,800,000 acres, which then converts down to 7,603,200,000 quarter acre blocks of land. So, we could hypothetically give every person in the world a quarter acre block of land and they would all fit into an area the size of Australia. Each would have enough land that they could all have gardens and grow a substantial supply of their own food. And we would still have 1,603,200,000 quarter acre blocks, or an area roughly half the size of Queensland left over, plus the entire rest of the world. Now just pause to let that sink into your brain for a second. All the people, that's every man, woman and child on earth, would comfortably fit inside Australia. Each individual person could have a quarter acre block of land and we would still have half of Queensland and the entire rest of the planet left unoccupied. The world is not overpopulated at all. It is just very badly managed, and you need have absolutely no doubt whatsoever that this bad management is intentional and it is methodical. It would, however, be very simple to fix things, and all that is required is for people to wake up to how much they are being lied to and how much they are being scammed, and this goes for everyone. People really need to gain an understanding of how this system actually works because this bad management is crippling the world and it is crippling the people. The methods that are used to do this become truly transparent once a person has gained a clear enough vision to see it and people really do need to open their eyes and see it right now because now that the world has been made smaller and now that all the resources have been discovered and there are no frontiers left to conquer, the criminal elite intend to carry out a mass depopulation of this world and their plan to do this is well underway. They are doing it in the Middle East with war, in countries such as Africa through starvation, and now in Western countries through water additives, aerial spraying, and through the introduction of toxic and nutrient deficient genetically modified foods. And this is very soon to be taken to the next level with the global introduction of Codex Alimentarius, an insidious set of food guidelines that are due to come into effect worldwide on December 31st, 2009.